All right, this is ground zero. So, welcome to the build. This area, I've laid it out and I had, had things just kind of thrown down to measure and such. And then just now what I did was I mowed it as low as my mower could go. And the darker green square you see in the center is going to be the interior space, floor space of the finished product and the areas of a little more dead grass that surround it in a rectangle that's going to be the wraparound porch for this cabin and I'm going to make it in a way that yeah, when we eventually get a piece of property in the mountains I can disassemble it and with fairly uh, considering disassembling a cabin, say ease, uh, <laughs> and just load it up on the back of a truck or trailer and take it with us, and reassemble it out in the mountains and enjoy it there. So the general plan is 10 by 12 external space minus a foot because it's six inch walls and so 11 by 7 internal square foot and then I want to do a loft and we'll see how that develops. Just pausing for the wind there. We'll see how that develops as materials become available but it's going to be a lot of work because this whole cabin, my plan is um, basically zero budget and it's going to be made out of these pallets that I've been obtaining and disassembling and I'll show you how I put them together to create the logs for this to be a log cabin and it's going to go together my plan is to make it a double tongue and groove, but we'll see how that goes, if the jigs work out right, and if not, then I'll share that with you as well. And I'll put some windows in it and, and a wrap around porch, hopefully a half wrap balcony on just two sides, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do a full wrap if, if I have the resources for it. But again, I want to be doing this in a way that is low to no budget. And so I, it's, it's a long process. And so it's not something that, that I can do for basically free overnight. It's something that's been a lot of work to be going to be picking these up when they become available get things like this to get it level when they've been available now what I'm gonna do to start is also again this is this is something that was made you know, it was just shared with us so it, it didn't cost anything and if you watch my other videos you can see that I got it and I put it all over there in the garden and I just have boards from the pallets holding it down. That's what those are. And now the whole square footage that includes the wraparound porch, that should be able to be covered by this. And so that's the plan. We'll see if it's executable. And I have a broken selfie stick and no tripod, so please bear with me as I work on this, but hopefully this will be stable for you so you can watch. There we go, okay, hands free. So my plan is to spread this out and to cover the area that I'm going to have for the 
full footprint, including the wraparound porch. And my, that way I don't have weeds coming up underneath. Uh, neither the cabin nor the porch. So this is going to be obviously an off-grid cabin. There's not going to be anything to have electricity or anything like that. So that thing happens. This should be about what I need. It's really the leftovers from the garden. It just seems to be pretty close to to the outline, but maybe not exact. And again, this is pre-owned. So you can see the hole. get the idea. Take a look. Yeah, so you can see there's a hole there, there's holes over there, and it's not totally perfect, but it's pretty close, and it's going to help at least to reduce the, the undergrowth that we really don't want to be there at all. So I'm going to get it a little more flat and then get some uh, some of the wraparound ports down on it so that it can stay in place but definitively. That is until we buy some woods and move the cabin there. Keep my raspberries. 